That three we saw from Lynn was the fourth make in the last five attempts for the Golden Lions. Now a turnover, Nance the steal. Bowie's got games. Who throws down the jam? Trying to find some traction. Anthony Gaines missed 21 games. Rim runs. Feet off the ball on the outside. Out there from Lynn. Bowie the board. Out to Audige. Who throws down a jam? He looked great right there. Nice and strong on the finish. The audacity. He continues to impress Jalen Lynn with nine. Now on the run out, the alley -oop to Barron to win to get his first hoop of the year. Big Ten standout presented oh, by go. Auto Owners Insurance. Yeah, connecting the dots in transition. Step back three, left it well short, and Greer the rebound. And Greer ahead to Young, and Nifty gets it to go and draws the foul. From the glass work, Northwestern pushes it ahead, and Ryan Young very gracefully <laughs> finishes at the rim with contact. Now you got the initial starting lineup out there. You got Nance at the five. And that's just too easy for the big fellow down low. Bucket and a foul over Polonese. Five going against Polonese, 6'6", 175. Just a simple high ball screen, then a high low Nance dive. Northwestern's been a team that doesn't turn the ball over much in the Collins area. They haven't yet today, and a nice feed to Barron for the bucket. Getting along, celebrating, but Pete Nance really showing what he can do in the zone. A nice pass to Robbie Barron. Ryan Greer also does a great job pushing the pace. Eight assists in his first game. Miller Cobb locks his space for the three and a swish. He can move up a run this season. There is a hill to climb, but there's also an opportunity when you have... You know, teams as good as everyone in the Big Ten. Every game is a chance to build your resume. And last year... And now Adige for the Wildcats. What are you looking for here for Northwestern here early against Pittsburgh? Well, we like to put Nance in that high post, Jordan, because of his ability to pass. High Berry over to grab the rebound and bring it across. Nice pass into the lane for Ryan Young, who lays it in. There's that look ahead. That is what... Chris Collins wants. He wants that ball. 27 points. Now here's Bowie driving right at the lane. Lobs one to Nance for a slam dunk with two hands. Bowie, a guy that lacks nothing in confidence. Here come the Wildcats up ahead. Japan. And a finish by Chase Hardy. Boy, Boo Booey just putting enough air under that ball. The Wildcats getting out on the break. Chase Hardy is running the floor, going upstairs and hanging on rims. Necessarily at the end of the shot clock, they can go and get their own. So this might be the best shot they get. Nice backdoor cut inside to the junior Ryan Greer. Just a really smart play. At a really high level, you have got to make this pass to Joey Hauser. Barry for three. Ty Barry fills it up. Boy, he's showing off. How about getting it going from the perimeter? Ty Barry showing off the stroke here in Evanston. Their defensive statistics are right on par with what they want to do. And you just saw it on that last play. They shut it down. Ty Barry, good kick to the corner. Miller cop his second three-pointer. He's got all six for the Wildcat. The Northwestern, largest lead at 10. They're on a 6-0 run. Inside Nance making an 8 0 run. Timeout. The back games where the Northwestern kids just are not afraid to attack the rim. Michigan State game was not a. Here's Ryan Young. Beautiful pass to the cutting Miller Cobb who has gotten it going offensively now. When you touch the post and you do and you cut to the front of the rim, good things happen there. It's just a situation of. Uh, where Cop continues to, to cut and be active. The success, I think, that Ohio State can have moving forward because he does what? He's able to stretch the floor for this Ohio State team. Gaines, the captain, got it from long range. Because of the tip, Northwestern avoids the over and back. And Bowie in trouble, but Robbie Barron bails him out and had no trouble getting up off that ankle. So simple. If your man loses vision of you, you cut to the front of the rim, and you get rewarded. It's so simple. Put it down, big fella. The ankle's got to be fine.
feeling good. Well, you saw it very close to being undefeated as Liddell bangs his way inside, missed the second chance. Two players belly flop after it, and it's geysered out to Miller Cop. Bounce pass, Bowie. Nifty stuff for Northwestern. All the way to the rim, the bucket and the foul. Ryan Greer off the feed from Miller Cop. School Princeton offense and Young post up outside. And when that paint opens up, you just have to cut when your defender turns their head. And look at the cut with integrity and Miller. Northwestern did a really good job on Luca Garza the other night. Another big man challenge here as Nance gets the first two of the game. It's really sloppy here to start. And Northwestern certainly hasn't taken full advantage, but man, now what you'd like to see if you're Jawan Howard. Nance throwing down the jam off the nice feed from Robbie Barron. These Northwestern guards are getting some great dribble penetration. This is exactly what Robbie Barron's got to do. Hunter Dickinson's closing out to you. Drive him. Do not settle for jump shots. Drive him to the paint. The help defense comes over. Great dish to Pete Nance for the... There's Gaines. Shot clock at three. Slips it off for Nance, nice who throws pass. it down. Boy, great patience, and with the shot clock rolling down. Smith, knocked away there by Audige. Now ahead of the pack for Barrett, who throws down the jam. Great job by Chase Audige of being in that passing lane. The flare screen was coming. There comes that flare screen from Eli Brooks, and Audige with the active hands using his length. Great pass, Robbie Barrett going upstairs and hammering it home. Already five rebounds for Illinois in this 6-0 start, and there's Nance to get Northwestern on the board. Nance matched up against Frazier on a switch. There's Barron inside to Nance. They went right back to the big man, and he makes him pay inside. Hot, and a lot of it's from three, but they're using their smarts a little bit. I got a small man on me. I'm going to take him down. He's capable ball handler in, in crunch tower in necessary situations. On the other end, bucket and a foul, so they'll try to get three the old-fashioned way as Chase Audige lays it in. 533,000 plays that Northwestern can hit you on. Liddell off the mark. Even though he didn't finish, he is really good in that situation. Oh, oh he can jump too. Audige throwing it down. I get it because he slapped the backboard afterwards, but look. When you're a guard and you get a, a tip, you know, an alley-oop dunk in transition when your team is down, let him slap the backboard. What? Yeah, really a nice backup, and they played them together as well. Ball got slapped away. Nice a great opportunity. Play. Look out on oh, Dave Skywalker. Anthony Gaines, one of the leaders on this squad, doesn't look for his offense. To the corner, Greer again. And Iowa really dared Barron to shoot several times. He got some great looks. Here he is again. Instead, he's going to pass it, and a good decision. Pete Nance on the receiving end. Really nice pass. Just at times, you think about the first half of the Michigan game, did not score. You know, consistency has been the thing that's eluded a lean four. Nice little set there, and Miller Cop able to wiggle to the basket. Hey, old habits die hard. I understand that. Yeah. Oh yeah. 45 years of one way and change. There's Pete Nance. Hey, he wasn't getting his shot going from outside, but he put one on his head. And that was a that was a, a way we would demonstrate to say when somebody take a bad shot in practice, we say we looked at it. Was that a good shot for the team? Well, take me through that half court set. Robbie Barron was all alone yeah, for the yeah, slam yeah. dunk. You know, they, they just feel it. They've been doing that all season long. You know what? You gotta have fun. Oh, nice play by Northwestern. That sparked them to get back into this game. They need to play similar to that. Well, this this game, if they don't, and the the over the head pass, what a highlight! Like watch him. He's like, okay, I'm gonna take advantage of Baker. Well, the double team comes. Nope. I'm a hook pass to my man Miller. Cop cut to the bucket. Strong enough. Uses left hand. Young catches. Patient lays it in. Seven Purdue turnovers, nine so far for Northwestern coming off the season high 20. A great dish inside there. Young finding Nance, and we got a one-point game. Top 10 Iowa team, or ranked Iowa team, I should say. 
You know, Indiana having their same problems. Brian Young drops it down the well. That's one of the strangest stats I saw. We talked about confidence at the beginning of the broadcast. You know, Adige has got that playing against Indiana, and Miller Cop's confidence is growing as he goes splash from long range for the second time today. Been pretty hot over the last several games. And then Miller Cop getting into the act as well. Northwestern staying ahead because of the three. Of not having fans, and we can talk about this throughout the course of the broadcast, but I think the fan base, the rack, would lift them up right now. they got to find their own energy because Northwestern has brought it right to them. I mean, Dave, these possessions for Rutgers, one and done. Wadiz, dangerous pass. Nice job to corral it by Nance. Cop to Nance on the baseline who rattles it home. So Ford heads to the bench, and in the corner, Boo Booey is feeling it early. He has all seven for the cap. On a losing streak, because they've got a confident guard in Boo Booey that has gotten off to a hot start. If you're not up in his space, he's going to let it go. 6'10", 250, up top. Pete Nance rising and throwing it down on the feed from Booey. He, he wasn't there earlier in the year, but it's really important that you can score other than shooting threes. Uh, Bowie hits a three there. Nine points for Boo Bowie on the heels of 19 against Wisconsin. Greer up top. Nice feed. Finding Pete Nance. Backdoor Barron. Awkward catch. Great adjustment. Take a look. Just a quick back door. Stevenson didn't see the ball. Got above the line of ball. Nance steps back. Has time and buries him. Watch the drive here by Greer. You see Andre go all the way into the paint to help. Size this match. He's got to take advantage. Nice job of moving without the basketball. Excellent job. Now watch the interior feed. It looks like he might be able to back down. And because they understood that Nance had the size advantage, look what Carr does. He goes down with a strong double.